Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I am planning for the week of the 20th through the 26th, so Christmas week. So I'm super excited and I'm going to be using this kit from Tipsy Dog Designs, of course. I have it especially for Christmas week is what I should say. So here are the kind of category headers and of course I have Tipsy Dog, the script. Tipsy Dog Designs, oh my goodness, I've done that. Tipsy Dog Designs scripts that I'm going to use for these. So, those are my categories. Dinner, home, reading, wellness, and family. Not in that order. I also have these step stickers that I'm going to put in my wellness category from Taryn's Sticker Shop. I got these in, I think, yesterday's haul. Happy Mail, whatever you want to call it. Um, from my TPC loop winnings. So that's super exciting. So I'm going to use that. And then of course, Tipsy Dog, Tipsy Dog Designs numbers. And I have this sitting over there next to me too, because I was thinking about starting a 30 day squat challenge. This is from Craft Penguin Planner. And I've done, I think I've done a couple of her other challenges and I have, I think all of her challenges uh, stickers so but squats is the easy thing to do because you don't have equipment or anything like that that you need so I can do this on the road so I'm kind of thinking about starting this this week I'm, I might put a poll over on Instagram and just see I don't know that's uh that's still maybe but that might be something I start Christmas week I know that's a weird time to start a new challenge of any kind but whatever if you don't start now then when will you anyway let's get going I'm gonna try to be creative as I can this is new for me because I've never planned in this planner before like on camera so um, we're just gonna wing it and go with it because you know what is life and I love that her boxes don't cover up the paw prints are supposed to go this way.
Christmas Day I wanted to save the stars. Oh, by the way, what are you drinking? I just have water today in my Epcot France World Showcase cup. mine I like to do it in this order so families first always and so this category for me is like appointments anything that is um, family related so like if when Nora has ballet that would go in on whatever if she had it on Monday she's done with ballet for the year but if she had it on Monday you know ballet would be here so of course this is Christmas week we are actually traveling so um, Wednesday I'll have you know us driving and sort of our like holiday plans here I'm not worried about saying that because I have somebody watching the house so anyway um, that's what is in my family section so after family is wellness and for me that is of course like my own health and wellness so i'm trying to make a habit to exercise more i'm gonna put my steps in now but that's where this is where i put stuff like steps keep keeping track of that i really want to start keeping track of water and everything in here i was keeping track of that in my other i just had like EC vertical or something that I was using for um, my health and wellness planner but I just found that so much to keep track of I'd rather really make it a focus by making it one of my categories in here so I think this really does help make it a focus and that's what I like about this planner and the, the format of it because I do feel like it lets you focus on these categories I really have a reason to why I've set all of my categories up this way. The only thing I don't have on here that maybe I wish I did would be stuff for my social media, like content planning. So I'm really hoping to dial up my, my YouTube game here, if you want to call it that. And, um, so I think, um, Anyway, I think it'd be helpful to to actually do some planning on content. So I don't have that in, in this planner, but that's fine. I can find another place to do that. Probably somewhere more informal, but I might I actually I already know. I have a little Dollar Tree calendar that somebody gave me in a goodie bag for Christmas. So I could use that for content planning. This is how wellness looks. So I like having that, that as one of my big categories in this planner. So this is kind of where I'm keeping track of everything related to family, like our goings on in the family and then wellness. And then next is reading. I want to make it a priority to read. I'm trying to note, you know, what I'm reading. And if I don't read, I'm probably going to track what I watch in here instead because Usually if I'm not reading it, it's because I'm watching a show. And so I know, but this is mostly going to be um, another reason. It's almost like goal setting in a way by categorizing. So by making reading a category, it's I'm sort of making a goal to read more. So I'm not, it's not a smart goal technically because it doesn't go within that definition. But that's okay. I'm all right with that. Next we have dinner. 
just because I like to write down what we're eating for dinner. And it sort of goes along with the wellness category. I like to track it and sort of see, you know, see what we're trending, what we're eating as a family. So, and what I'm eating too, because sometimes I eat something differently than my family. So I like to kind of track what I'm, my main dinner meal. I don't really eat a huge breakfast anymore. I used to love breakfast and lately I just haven't wanted it too much, but I don't know. It comes in waves for me, but lunch and dinner are my go-to. So anyway, that's what that category is for. Pretty simple. And then home is my last category. And yeah, home is my last category. This is mostly going to be for like chores and you know, things I'm doing to keep the home tidy, uh, any kind of declutter. Then uh, I don't know where it left off, but I was just saying that I have dinner just to track my dinners and make sure I know what I'm eating. And I have home is like for chores and things I'm doing to keep the house tidy. If anything, sometimes just my snarky, I didn't get anything done. The stickers go there. And for this week, you know, we're going to be traveling a lot. So and it's Christmas week. So not a lot of like cleaning stuff is going to be getting done this week. And so that's probably where these are going to come in quite a bit. But there's, these are so much fun. Between, I think there's going to be some family ones in here because it's fun. And then um, I'm definitely going to be putting some in the home section just to fill in on days where I know I'm not doing anything chore related. Let's see. Let me kind of think strategically about those. All right. We're done with all the categories. Oh, and I also have some monthly scripts that I like to put right here from Wonder Stickers Co. Let me grab those. Okay, here are those monthly stickers for from Wonder Stickers Go. So that is perfect to go right here. Okay, so we are driving down on Wednesday. I need to check my calendar. I can't remember. We're having a family party. It's either Thursday or Friday, but I can't remember. So I thought family drama, the perfect side dish, is perfect for that day. Check the halls, not your family. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I need to figure out what day that is, but that's fun. Yeah, let's see. We'll just put this on Wednesday because I'm probably not cleaning. We're driving down that day. Maybe that's what I should fill in as the days we're leaving. Oh, also, I'm using this amazing Punky Bee pen that's like the Tipsy Dog Designs collab. So I thought that was super fun. So we're driving to Vicksburg on Sunday so that we can see my grandparents um, before we have to drive back on Monday because I do have to work. Uh, I'm going to put these little flaggies on the days that we drive because I know that I'll at least be doing an audio book. And then I think I actually will use these for reading. I have some currently reading stickers that I can use to um, put over, you know, on top of this. I'm just going to put the title in these boxes. That'd be cute. put this next to Monday just balance that out and 
I need to figure out what day the Christmas party is. And I'm going to put that on here. Let me see. I'll be right back. Okay. So I found out what time the party is. So let me write that on this one. Cute. So fun. And thank you for your service. Let's see. I put these in just, I actually like my, I'm going to Christmas with my in-laws. So my in-laws are in NOLA and I actually do love my in-laws. So this is all in jest, I will say. But anyway, these are funny and snarky and so I like them. cookies one on here because I know that's what it will be about at the Christmas party. Cookies. I'm going to leave that open for packing. And that's probably what we'll be doing there. And I'll leave this here. Thank you for your service. That looks so fun. Oh my goodness. I, I really like that. Really, really like that. So super fun. And I know I will add some more things in later as I go, but I wanted to have kind of the big events in. So this looks super fun. And it's a lot more colorful, I guess, or like a lot more fun and planned than this past week. So um, here's what it turns out to look like. Well, I haven't finished this weekend yet, but because I'm filming on the weekend. But like, here's the finished spread. So I definitely go ham on decorations. So don't worry about that. And then here's a little flip through, impromptu flip through. And then that's the first week. So I started this the first week of December. So super fun. And then we have that week. And then we have this week. And week that you just saw that I planned for. So this is so much fun. I love I love how this is turning out. And I like having these focused categories sort of. I think this is really going to work for me. And I just, I love decking it out and all of my favorite TP, TPC Nation stickers. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, these are my Perfect Prince Co. tweezers. I'll link those below. And this from Punky Bee Designs. I'll link that below. And I'll link where I got the planner below. So you should definitely get one. It's such a great, um, such a great format. And you're supporting a great, a great group of ladies that I absolutely love, especially my Grant Vance, who's the um, the hand letterer of all of Tipsy Dog Designs and this planner. So anyway, I will link her shop below. And now she has a YouTube channel too, so you can go watch her. She's a lot more chatty and uh, fun than I am probably, but that's okay. Anyway, she's uh, a dear, dear friend, and I just think she does a great job with lettering and a great job with all of her planner stuff so i will put a link to her below but thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful christmas if that's what you celebrate and a happy new year in case i don't post but again before then i hope i do though so i hope you have a wonderful holiday though and i will see you in the next video thanks bye